Hello, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. Let's do a requested video and it is what's in my bag. What is in my Louis Vuitton Neverfull in the GM size, which is my work bag. I get a lot of questions about what I carry in this, if it's heavy, if it cuts into your shoulder, how much I fit in here. So today I'm gonna to show you what is in here and this is how my bag is normally packed for going to work. Now I can tell you that's heavy. You can see how full it is. I can wear it on my shoulder and I do wear it on my shoulder if I'm getting out of the car, walking to my office or getting out of the car and walking to meetings. That would be about the extent of where I would carry it. I try not to carry it when it's this full that far because it is heavy. The straps, it's okay, but the straps are thin. If I'm wearing it with something as light as this shirt, it will start to cut into my shoulder with this much in it. So let's have a look at what it looks like in here. And then I will show you and go through. Yes, I know. <laughs> I carry this every day. I do have an organizer in here. This was not gifted or sponsored, but I genuinely think if you're using a Neverfull, especially in the GM size, that a Neverfull really does need or benefits from the organizer. I used my old Neverfull for a long, long time without an organizer before I even really knew they existed. And it gets, it gets a beautiful mess. It's really, really hard to find your stuff. Everything's on top of each other. It's just not not really productive and it's not easily accessed. With the organizer, I do think it's a game changer for the Neverfull. I think this is a far better way to use this bag and I will always have my organizer in it. Also, I throw everything in here. During the day if I'm picking up lunch, it gets thrown in here. Sweet wrappers get thrown in here. My children's stuff gets thrown in here. So I would assume when I take everything out, the bottom of this organizer is going to be quite disgusting. And I'd rather that be the bottom of the organizer than the bottom of the bag. But let's get started. So the first thing that I have in here that probably not everybody has to carry is an A4 notepad. Even though my laptop you're about to see come out of here and you're going to see a smaller notebook and you're going to have a phone which also carries notes, I will still have an A4 notepad with me wherever I'm going. It's just really the nature of my work. I like to take handwritten analog old fashioned notes. I just, that's just the way I am. So that is the first thing that's in there and coming shortly after it is my laptop. I am using an Apple Mac at the minute. Before this, I had a Windows, which I really did like. I found it very easy to use. The Mac, I do think is quicker though, and I find it a lot quicker whenever I'm having to work. So this comes with me all the time. This is non-negotiable. If I forget this, I would turn the car back and come home to get it. Those alone, add to the weight in there, but they're necessities. To go along with the laptop, I have my charger. Even though it's fully charged every night, I charge it at home. I take my charger with me because as I say, if my laptop were to start work, stop working during the day, I would be in difficulties. Next big heavy thing coming out of here and is in my bag is my Louis Vuitton agenda. I love this thing. And I have talked about this in so many videos. This goes everywhere with me, but it's heavy. When you add alone the notepad that's just come out, the laptop and this, this is now a lot easier to carry than whenever I had those things. Next thing I have on the side is my water bottle. And the good thing about these organizers, you can see there is a section for your water bottle at the side. I have my glasses in the other one and there's little pockets along the inside to try and keep this more organized. Without this, I do find it a mess. This video isn't sponsored or anything. I just think if you have a large Neverfull like this, it's a very, very useful investment into your bag. In the other water bottle type shaped pocket at the other side, I have my glasses. I have contacts in, well I have one contact in, I only wear one in my right eye. The vision on my left eye is such I was bit in by a dog in the face. When I was very very young I have three scars here and an eye scar from the dog's bite and contact lenses don't really improve my vision in my left eye at all so there's only one in my right eye. I do get migraines quite significantly and quite regularly and sometimes with a migraine you just need to have your glasses on. Contact lenses need to come out and glasses need to go on so in here I have generally my glasses and I will generally have a pair of sunglasses in here as well that's why I use the bigger eye case from Chanel this one is because I know it's not great for them but I'll put my glasses in here and my sunglasses. Next we have the pouch that goes with the Louis Vuitton bag. Now I know and I've watched a lot of videos on this bag because I love this bag. Have to 
say that out loud and if you're watching this video and haven't watched my channel before, I am a lover of the Neverfull. I think it's a fabulous bag. For what all is in here, for what it's made for, it just does the job so, so well. And for me, it's there's no alternative. But this is the pouch that comes with it. A lot of people I know would say that they don't use this so they don't find it very useful. For me personally, I am self-employed. So what I use this for, this pouch carries all of my business receipts. So I find that pouch actually very, very useful and that's always in my bag. Also, when I travel, I take this bag as my travel bag because it's just so useful. Everything goes in here and this bag goes on the plane with me and I will keep this in it only I will take the receipts out and I have on holiday quite often used this as a little pouch as a wristlet carried this with me whenever we were going out in the evening rather than having to take a separate monogram bag and I find it a really good addition to this bag the original Neverfill I had didn't have one it's the older style and I definitely appreciate having it now okay I also have my pencil case because I am a geek and I love my stationery so as well as having my agenda my laptop for notes, my agenda with the pen in it. I also carry my pencil case and the one I'm using is the London one from the Christmas collection, I think two years ago from Louis Vuitton. I, before I open this, self-confessed geek. So as well as my pens, I have all of my colored markers because I like to color coordinate things. And I like whenever I'm marking off my diary or I'm planning or I'm using my agenda, I like to use coloured highlighters and I like to mark and I have little drawings in there that are tracking goals or tracking progress and I will colour them in with the markers so yes they go everywhere with me. As well as having my pencil case and you're getting an insight into my life now because I am such a stationary geek and also my employment is so or my work is so reliant on me being able to write at times that in one of the pockets here of the Neverfill of the handbag liner you will also find just in case my pencil case ran out or I forgot it or the pen's ink died or something like that that's probably never going to happen. Aha! <laughs> we have one, two, three, four, six pens in here and we also have two pencils because sometimes I also write in pencil. As I say, stationery geek should be back at school. So they all are in one of the pockets in there and they're spares. These are the only pens I generally write with. They are linked down below, I think, in my description box because I've been asked about them before, but they're an inky pen and I always have spares, as you can see. They are always with me because... Geek! Also, in this little pocket, I have my AirPods and I have to eat my words. I once said on a video that I wouldn't buy AirPods because you will see that I also carry in here old-fashioned headphones. I sometimes will have to join Zooms at very short notice or meetings that are via remote since the lockdown and I will need headphones for that for privacy. So I carry my AirPods and I also carry the old-fashioned type in case these die. I know I am an over preparer especially when it comes for work. So on mine I have the little heart and then I have F and L for my sons and then I have a little dog on mine and then they have the airpods inside so they're always in there along with the other ones that you're going to see. In the next pocket along I have another notebook. This actually once belonged to my cousin I think but it's now well within my Neverfill and it says on the front of it professional shop. In the next pocket along we have two more. This is not sponsored by Louis Vuitton SLGs but we're into the pocket that's back here. In this pocket here this slit one in the liner I had my oh, sorry it's at that side this is where my laptop was and the notebook we're over here now and I have my four ring key holder which has my keys in it this is obviously with me every day and I also have my round coin purse and this is just keeps coins in case I need them generally now for parking I don't really need cash as much since lockdown everything's really went card but there are still certain places that I will go that parking meters will be so I generally keep coins in here for parking. Before we get to the other little set of pockets in the main compartment along with the agenda and the pencil case and the pouch. I also have my toiletry 15. Now I use my toiletry 15 as a catch-all really in my bag. As I said, I do get migraines. I have a lot of migraine tablets in here. As someone who suffers significantly with migraines, if I go anywhere without my migraine medication, I will get very, very anxious. I'm generally not a very anxious person, but not having these tablets with me just in case can make me very, very anxious. I'd almost bring a migraine on because I'm worrying so much that I don't have my tablets. But in here, you will see a mess. You will see band-aids or plasters as I call them. 
There is anodin extra. These are my migraine tablets. There are hair ties in there. There's more hair ties in there. There is a little calculator that I also need for work. There is hand cream because I like to use hand cream. This is the Locketean one. It is the cherry blossoms. I absolutely love this. If I remember, I will link it down below. It's very inexpensive compared to some of the ones you'll see on Instagram, but it's so lovely. It smells so good and it's a great handbag size. So I generally always have that with me. I also have spare contact lenses because as well as having my glasses with me, if your lenses get dry, if you get grit in them, or if they're just annoying me, I like to have spares so as I can take them out and put in new contact lenses. I have more hair clips in here. I also have whole soothers. I must have had a sore throat at one point and had them in there and I've kept spares. And that, oh look, strepsils as well. This is like the little medicine bag that's in here. I am lucky enough to have the mini pochettes as well. I generally use the Toilet 315 more as a catch-all in my bags. Maybe just the shape of it. It's, it's just the one that I prefer to use over the mini pochette and that's what is generally always in there. None of my mini pochettes are in here at the minute. I do have two of the limited edition ones, but at the minute this is what we're using. Next beside it is my long coin holder from Louis Vuitton, which I love. Up in this box up here, or I shouldn't call it a box, trunk up here is the Recto Verso and I generally go between the two, but I'm still in this one at the minute and really it's the color that draws me to this. This has all of my cards in the back. It has cash and spare cards in here and then any receipts that if I I'm in a rush and I just put them in there and then put them in the receipt pouch if they're for the business later on or if I need to keep them I file them. This is obviously always in here. I think it's a great piece. I do have a video comparing this to the Recto Verso and the flat card holder if you're interested in any of those Louis Vuitton card holders that will give you a lot more in-depth look at them at the wear on them and what fits in them but for me personally I think these are great pieces. That takes us to the three little pouches on the other side with the three little organizational bits on the other side. And this is a bit overkill, but I'm going to show you anyway. I can just about get it all out in one hand. These are the lip products that have made it into my bag and I have not come home and put away. <laughs> I'm not very organized sometimes. What is on my vanity desk or my desk in my dressing room is the Nice Nano and I use that for my lip products. I use the Nice Mini for all of my makeup, but the Nice Nano sits with all of my lip products. Although the ones that I use the most have made their way into this bag and generally stay there because they come to work for me. I have a red Chanel, I have a Nivea Soft Rose, which is fabulous if you get dry lips. It, I just really like it. It has a nice little sheen to it that just adds a little bit of color. I use this quite a lot. My sister-in-law buys me one of these every single Christmas. I have the Dior Lip Glow, which I love. It's like the purpley color. I have a Chanel lip gloss that somebody very dear to me bought me. And I really love the color of this. So this one stays in there as well. And then I have the Dior color, which is the one I'm actually wearing at the minute. This is the one I use a lot as well. All of these are in the little pouch, which is probably overkill, but they're all in there anyway. Next pouch along, we have my car key, which is separate rather than being on one of my pouches. As I've said before, my husband and I will jump between two cars because depending who's getting the children. So it stays just as the fob. And then I have tissues in the next one, which mom life. And we come to the final little pouch and it has my monogram key clay. I have this in the Damira Bean as well. The Damira Bean one I generally use to keep my euros. I quite often will be between sterling and euros. So I have a separate purse for that. I obviously haven't needed euros today. I've just been to work. So the only one I have with me is the monogram one. And in here are those famous old fashioned headphones that I once said I would never ever get the <laughs> AirPods because I found these so good, but now they're there as spares. My bracelet is in here that I need to put on. This is an Ana Luisa bracelet. And the reason that it is off is we are only home from holiday. And I was in the pool literally all day, every day with my two young children. And this was still on. And I kind of thought it was getting really covered. I can still see on the clasp the suntan lotion obviously my children are young they were covered in factor 50 we were topping them up a lot so i generally then decided to take this off and i must have just slipped it into here because this was with me as well and you can see now this is obviously not sponsored by anna luisa but for having been through the pool all week the chlorine and there are suntan lotions that's still in great shape i love this little bracelet it never really comes off i then have my nectar cards in here 
I have a bank key fob in here and I have the California Dream Louis Vuitton perfume. I generally don't carry makeup to work. I kind of don't really have time once I get to work so whatever's on is on. I do generally carry perfume though so I have a sample of the California Dream in here at the minute and I have a few perfumes that I buy in the smallest size to keep one in my bag of something. I like to have perfume with me but the one I have with me at the minute is the California Dream from Louis Vuitton and I'm making use of the samples that they gave me and that is what is in this little pouch. The only other thing that I will generally have in here every day is my phone but I'm filming on my phone so I don't have that to show you inside the bag but this is generally what's in this every day and now that everything is put back in in its spot you can see how filled it is but you can also see how neatly it sits if I turn the agenda upside down you can probably get a better look so you can see the agenda the coin purse beside it the pencil case everything that is in here that comes with me every day and that is a look at what is in my never fill I'm not advocating carrying this much to anybody because it's very heavy it's even heavy carrying it and holding it at the minute but these are all things that I need for my daily work life this bag is fabulous it carries it all as you can see everything's very neatly in there and that is what is in my work bag thank you so much for joining me if you have enjoyed this in any way or it has given you any insight into what this bag can hold please do consider giving this video a thumbs up please do consider subscribing and if you haven't watched enough of me yet I'm going to leave another video for you on the screen thank you so much for being here please take care and I'll see you again in the next one